After we have installed the Node.js server, the next thing we will do, is to build the Facebook chatbot. To start, we will read the documentation of the Messenger platform, which helps us to understand the mechanism, and how to operate a chatbot with Facebook Messenger. Here, on the left side of the screen, we will choose getting started, and after that, we have the next option, to build everything from scratch. According to this document, we can start with a project available on GitHub, or remix it on Glitch. But here, I will choose to build from scratch, to better understand this platform. At the start, first, we will need to configure the Facebook app. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a Facebook app, as well as linking the Facebook app to the Facebook page. If you do not know, then you can review the above two videos. Right here, we will reopen our Facebook app. Select My Apps, followed by choosing the app you created. You can check the name of the app here. Next, in the left corner of the screen, in the product section, we choose Messenger, then Setting. Here, we can see the Facebook page, has been successfully linked to this app. At this point, we will generate a token. The purpose of this token, is to allow us to send messages to Facebook users, who sent messages to our Facebook page. Here, we check this box, and choose to copy the token. Reopen our project. In the .env file, we will create a new variable, to store the Facebook page token. Name it, the page access token, then paste the value we copied here. Next, we create a new variable, name it my verify token. This is the token, that Facebook will use to authenticate our webhook. This token is for us to decide, it is a string, so feel free to set a value for it. Next, in the example file, we will create two new variables we just created. The first variable, is the page access token, and the second, is the my verify token. But in this file, we will not update their values. We go back to Facebook's docs. After creating the Facebook app, we have created a Facebook access token, to send message to Facebook users, we have also saved this token, as an environment variable to use in the future. The next thing we need to do, will be configuring Facebook webhook. These are the three basic functions we will use for chatbots. The first function, will handle text messages. The next function, is to handle events, when the user selects the buttons in our messages, and the last one, is how to send a message with the Facebook APIs. However, before we get started, I will refine our code. First, we will start with declaring the roots. In the roots directory, open the web file. Here, in the previous video, I have instructed you to return hello world message, if the user gets the homepage. This is not wrong, but we are processing apps logic on the view layer. We will split the model, view, and controller, into three separate parts. Here, in the controller directory, we create a new file, named chatbot controller. This file will be responsible for handling requests for chatbot. Let's create a function, so we can get the homepage. Creates an arrow function, named test, with two input parameters, request and response. In this function, we use response.send, to return a message to the user. To use this function, we will export it. Instead of exporting a function, I will export an object, with the key and its value as the same. We will export the function test. Control S to save changes. Return to the web roots file. First of all, we will import the controller, to handle the request the user sent. 
import chatbot controller from controller. We use 2 dot, to go back to the root folder, then go to the controller folder, and the controller file. Next, we will delete this part. Instead, the controller name, and the function to handle user requests. With this, we will handle logic at the controller file, while the view, simply selects which controller file to handle the request. Save changes and rerun the server. If I reload the page, the result will be different from the original. Instead of hello world, we received a new message. The new message has appeared successfully, proving our system is working properly. From now on, we will build the chatbot following the MVC model. View to display the user interface, controller for handling logic, and the model to connect data to the database. In this project, our model is the services, responsible for connecting to the Facebook APIs. Next, I will define two new functions. The first function, is getWebhook, using the get method. The next function, is postWebhook, using method post. We will use two functions later. For each function, we all pass two parameters, request and response, as input parameters. After that, we will export these two functions for using in other files. Copy the name and update it here. Control S to save changes. Next, we need to declare two new routes for the newly created functions. The first will be the get method, for the webhook route. We will use the chatbot controller. Then call the get webhook function, which we created to process requests for this route. Next is the post method, we also use the chatbot controller, and call the post webhook function. Basically, we have all the tools needed to configure the Facebook webhook. Go back to Facebook documents. We also copy these three functions, and paste them into our chatbot controller. Go back to the chatbot controller file, we need to update this file, I will close these other tabs. We only open the editing file. Paste these functions right below the post webhook function. Here, we scroll to the top of this page. Facebook has also dedicated a section to guide webhook configuration. Select webhook setup. In this section, Facebook shows us step by step to configure a Facebook webhook. To make it easier to understand, imagine that, a Facebook webhook, is the bridge between Facebook, and our Node.js server. When a user sends a message to our Facebook page, Facebook server will send signals to webhook. The Node.js server, will listen for Facebook signals on the webhook. Handle the request, and choose a response, then call the Facebook APIs to send a reply message to the user. The steps in the requirement section are done already. We created a Node.js project, created an HTTP server, with Express Framework. We have also added the Facebook endpoint in this server. Here, all we need to do is write the code for them as well. Copy this block of code, I will later explain the content of this code. Then update our post webhook function. We will paste the block code right here in the body of this function. Next, we also update the get webhook function. To verify the webhook, we copy this block code, and update the get webhook function. We paste the block code right here. I want to format our code to make it easier to see. To do that, select the block code. Then right click, Select Format section to format the block code you want. Now, it looks better. In this function, we have one parameter, that needs to be updated, which is the verify token. We will get the verify token value, from the environment file, .env. So, import .env package. Next, we create a constant, here we name it my verify token. Its value we get from the environment file, with the syntax, process.env.
update the verify token parameter, its value is my verify token. So, what happens when we call this get webhook function? First, the server node.js will parse the query parameters, get the mode, token, and challenge parameters that we pass in the URL. If we have mode parameter and token parameter, then mode equals subcribe and token is my verify token. We will log the webhook verify message and return status 200. Otherwise, we will return status 403, forbidden, if verify token is not match. So, how to test this webhook? Scroll to the test your webhook section, right here, we will use a curl to test the Facebook webhook. We will copy this curl command, then open notepad. On your computer, open notepad, then paste the command you copied before. Here, we need to change a few parameters for this test statement. Change port to 8080, next, we need to update verify token parameter. Here, we will open the .env file. Then copy the value of the my verify token parameter, replace to your verify token. Copy this curl command, and open up Visual Studio Terminal. Press the shortcut, Control backtick to open the terminal. This terminal is running our Node.js server, so click on this plus icon to open another. Paste to the terminal, and press enter. We get an error, that the PowerShell of Visual Studio, cannot understand the curl command. This is because, the Visual Studio code does not support this command. To fix it, we will use git bash. First, we need to open the folder, where we write the source code this project. In the root folder, right click, then select git bash. Right click, then paste the curl command, and press enter. We get the error, forbidden. This is telling that the verify tokens do not match. The reason for this error, is because of the Node.js server, cannot get the variables in the environment file. We must put the environment files in the root folder, including .env, .env .example, git ignore, and babel rc. To do that, open the project folder, and move these files, to the root folder. Same level with the src folder. We try again. We still get this error. We need to restart the Node.js server, to know the new environment files. I will console.log the verify token, to see if we can get this token or not. You can see, the node mon has already restart the server for us. Open the git bash, and try again. We have a new message, challenge accepted. This time, we succeed. In the next video, we will learn how to set up the Facebook webhook for the Facebook app. If you have any error during doing this video, let me know by comment below this video. Thank you for watching my video, and see you in the next videos.